the senator? Uh, she's running around uh, super busy. Uh, How could she be busier than to speak with women? We're here to ask her how she, as a woman, could be considering it all. How could she be considering uh, I'm sorry, are you filming? helping appoint, yes. There's no filming in this helping case. confirm a somebody who is committed sexual assault to the highest court of the land? Absolutely. That's what she's she's running around working on, going through all that uh, process right now. Well. That means, are, are you saying that she's about to say that she'll vote no on Kavanaugh? No, she hasn't come out on any side. And, and what more does she need? A credible woman has taken the stand and said that she was sexually assaulted by Kavanaugh. Two other women have come forward. This is credible evidence. What more could she want? She's working through all the, uh, the entire process right now. What entire well, can process? Can you let her know that the women really are would have her back? Absolutely. That we need her to step forward. Absolutely. If and there's represent anything, women. If there's anything like leave behind, I could I could get it to the center for you. Cool. We'll find something up. There's a POM right over here. Thank you. We are here in Senator uh, Murkowski's office, calling on her as a woman to protect women, to stand up for women to believe survivors, to vote no on Kavanaugh. So many women in this country are sexual assault survivors, and we need to believe women when they come forward. Um, Christine took the stand and was absolutely credible, and afterwards, Brett Kavanaugh got up there. He was angry, partisan, lied under oath on the stand. There's nothing more that I would need, and I am calling on all women in Congress to stand up for women.